Hey, big red. Hey, puppets. Money, ma. Money, ma. Money, ma. It's okay. You're okay. Are you scared? Uh oh. Okay. I don't want to frighten you. You're all right, Bubba. Don't fall down. You're an old doggy, huh? You're an old doggy. Good boy. You're okay. You're okay, money ma. You're okay. Money ma. Money ma. Come, come. Good doggy. It's okay. All right. Oh boy. Anyway, I tried my. I tried to use my little camera. What do you got on my uh, <clears throat> last video? <clears throat> and I had mixed results. The, the microphone seemed to be. Uh, it, was, it was too sensitive. So I'm back to my cell phone here. Taking my walk. I'll try not to be shaky with it. Yeah, so, oh, there's Kitty. Kitty, 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 Kitty. Where are you going to? Where are you going to, little one? Kitty, 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 Kitty. Come, come. It's all right. Kitty, 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 Kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Be careful up there. Uh oh. Careful. Come, come. Oh, there's another one up there. All right, you guys. I don't think you have to worry about Big Red getting you. He's not fast enough. So anyway, the this camera phone is okay, but I have to be careful because it's got a one of those protective cases on it, an otter box, which is great in case you drop it, but it also makes it hard to hear on the microphone. So you'll just have to turn me up, I guess. <clears throat> You know, it looks like all hell is breaking loose in Ukraine. They've been trying to relay messages to folks that would like to receive them. So hopefully you're getting them. Um, if you'd like me to include you on that, I can. Uh, just send me an email uh, in the comment. Or, yeah, send me a comment in the comment section and I will... Uh, add your email and include you. Yeah, we were gonna we were gonna take off for a while, and get out of town, but there's so much going on right now that we kind of want to stick close to home, you know, just in case. nobody out today I'm gonna walk into town and get my regular stuff look at this evidence evidence cat cat prints there are cats and dogs all over the place out here which is great if you like cats and dogs like I do There's a street sign for the careful pup. Look out. Lots of dogs get hit here. Look out, dog. Boy, well, are you gonna just stand there? I guess you are. He lives over here at the shop. So he's just watching the street. There's another one under the car. They're all over. It's being invaded. It's a dog invasion. So, what else is going on? I guess I'll just walk here for a minute. Not too bad of a day. It's like probably close to 80 degrees. Be a little under 80. Isn't that a cool building? 
thing's huge. So we've got some green pigeons in our back area that are they've decided to build a nest right in the bush by the fence line. So I've been trying to get whoa, Jesus. Take cover. I've been trying to get lots of pictures because those green pigeons are really pretty bird. They've got like an emerald, emerald color. What do you call it? Emerald color on their feathers. And then a purple, like a purple throat. Really pretty bird. It was a stork. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for just a second. And we're back. Another puppy dog. I haven't done a, a recent dog count down here, but last couple years ago when I did, there were over 30. There were over 30. What do you call it? <clears throat> Tonight is market night at the temple, which is good because we get supplies and stuff there. You can get anything there. Oh, here comes the ferry. Good timing. Yeah, it looks like uh, NATO is deploying just a whole shit ton of troops to Ukraine like uh, 50,000 something. It's the first time in history that's ever been done. Uh, so I think, yeah, you may want to stay home for a while just in case things get crazy in the US. I would anticipate power problems and communications issues. Here's that damn hyacinth we have so much of. It's bad news. Kinda hazy today too. I guess this is the morning commute. <laughs> oh, get on the moped. It takes a certain amount of skill to do this. It's not so bad right now, but when the tide is, yeah, dog, when the tide is really low, <clears throat> this guy's loaded. When the tide's really low, the ramp that you have to ride down right up there by the boat, the incline can be really, really steep. It's not too bad right now, but you know, when the tide's way out, yeah, it's hard to ride on here. 
Another dog. Hey, Rufus. Buddy cop, buddy cop. I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, we're taking flack today. There, we got the theme song playing. Today. Those guys work hard. up here. Hey Rufus. He's not the most friendly dog in the world. <clears throat> I tried to pet him once and that was probably not a well thought out idea. He didn't bite me or anything but he made it clear he didn't want to be petted. So we leave him alone now. We have arrived. Yeah, it's not too bad right now. The tide's not that. The tide's up pretty high, so but when the tide goes out, 
this ramp goes like this, it really, really inclines all the way up there. And it makes it really hard to get off your moped because the boat, the boat goes down so the roof is low in relation to the ramp. So you gotta be careful. Okay. Oh. What a cop? Oh. Say, say, so what do you to uh, YouTube? Oh. YouTube. Puan. 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 He's a nice guy. He always comes out and says hello. I think he lives right here in this this little building. Hey, Wolfus. Yeah, they replanted all the mangroves down here in the last. I guess it's been in about the last eight months and they were just little tiny plants initially but <clears throat> the the oh she's freaking out she always freaks out at her i don't know if that's her brother or if that's her husband but she's always screaming and yelling at him i feel bad for him yeah so they replanted all the mangroves about eight months ago and they've just grown like crazy buddy cop yeah, the sun is so intense here that things grow so fast. Luxury accommodations. I don't know if anybody lives here. Probably not. Maybe once upon a time. Yeah, it looks like it's run down. Apparently, this is a this is a kind of jimson, jimson weed, uh, a species of plant that has scopolamine in it. And scopolamine is what is used in, I think there's also snakes in there too. Scopolamine is also what's used in things like truth serums. It's a deliriant um, and a hallucinogen that's extremely strong and potent and quite dangerous if uh, it's misused. So don't get any funny ideas. Kids, don't try that at home. I gotta be careful on her here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a sec. Here we go on boat ride number two. Yeah, so we're gonna plant uh, cannabis and kratom and avocado. And uh, what else? We've got some avocado starts that are about, oh, 18 inches tall, I guess. But I, I just don't know that they're going to do well in the climate here because it's, it never gets very cool at night. So we'll give it a try and see how it goes. But I wouldn't hold your breath for the avocado. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they just legalized cannabis here and kratom so that's that's good i'm just gonna grow indica <clears throat> to help sleep and stuff <clears throat> they've made it legal for for personal consumption so <clears throat> may as well safer than sleeping pills Yeah, that 
police boat went by yesterday on the river. There's a bigger one too. It's about, oh, I don't know, another 20 feet longer than that one. That's, it's really wild looking. It's fancy. Yeah, a little bit of haze today in the air. We get a lot of the haze from up north by Chiang Mai and even up by Pechabun where they burn the rice, the rice fields. After they harvest, they burn it. And it gets really smoky up there. Yeah, so if you go, if you go this way, you go to uh, kind of the town center area, and then down this way is the like a fish market and uh, all the little tiny shops and stuff. You can get back behind the seawall over here, and then you just walk walk down. There's another ferry boat up there, about 300 yards, that'll take you across the canal. So that if you want to walk, if you want to walk the long way to Wat Krokrak, you can do that, or you can you can cut across here to uh, Tachalom and then take the boat like we did from Wat Krokrak. Okay, we're here. We're here. Very cool. Okay, I'm just about out of batteries. Thought we'd go down here and see if we can find our friend. Uh, Salty, the red, the red bird. He lives, he's down here on Saturdays, so. At least he used to be. I don't know if somebody bought him yet or not. Yeah, they have on, on Saturdays, they have a market down here that's an outdoor market for, you know, this kind of stuff. If you want to get a baby a pair of baby shoes or a a size quadruple A bra, this is the place. I, on the other hand, am strictly here to see the birds. Let's see. I think he's down here. Oh, they have plants today too. All different kinds. Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> Eventually I'll have to come down and get some some supplements for the garden. Unless I can uh, might be able to just throw some little fish in there, bury them. Because they have tons of little fish at the market oh cool well, let's go see the bird here before my battery dies oh love birds love birds baby love birds too oh so cute buddy cop I think these are uh, button quail. And they've got these hedgehogs. In case you want a hedgehog. I like these lovebirds. They have they're awfully cute and they, they have curious personalities. I mean, how could you not love a face like that? Huh? Hello. Hello. Little guys. Yeah, my battery is just about history. A lot of people get these little birds and they'll they'll bring them out in their enclosures in the morning. And so as you walk along you can hear all the birds. It's nice. 
brand new babies, huh? Little guys. Very cool. Okay. Got these orchids, cactuses, cacti. <laughs> I would imagine that the prices here are way less than back in the States. These all look really good. Hello, hello. hello. Good morning, good morning. that's all the good stuff I'm gonna see for now my phone's just about dead so running out of juice that happens though right <clears throat> kind of hard for me to carry this stuff back so I like uh, like these little lotus or water lily I guess I'm not really in a position to carry one back though. It's a long walk with a bag full of water and water lilies. Anyway, that concludes today's broadcast. I hope that you all are well. You have to watch yourself when you cross the street here. Not everybody drives the right direction. Tamarind, dragon fruit, coconut, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, that's it, guys. We'll talk to you later. Can't believe it's still a battery on here. Ready, cop? Ready, cop? These guys are up here still working on the roof. Wow. It's a big job. It's getting hot. There's another <clears throat> big mural they painted over here. Looks like something out of a a Maurice Sendak book, doesn't it? What did he write? Where the, where the wild things are? I think that's the book. Okay. Home stretch. Okay, here's the here's the plant I wanted to show you. This is the species of Jimson weed. Uh, my friend John knows what it's called, the the real name for it but it's a it is a powerful delirium and hallucinogen that has has a compound in it called scopolamine and scopolamine is uh, it's what's used in secret government agent truth serums uh, there goes the kingfisher up there extremely dangerous um, to the point that people that accidentally ingest it uh, you know if they're gardening or whatever and they touch it or they make the mistake of burning it in their burn pile um, it can kill them but in the right amounts it can be used for other things it's kind of an interesting tropical plant 
Yeah, I got coconuts over here on the palms. <clears throat> it's getting hazy here today. The air quality is not great. They planted these mangroves a while back and they're doing really good. They're really growing quickly. Anyway, I better hustle. It looks like my boat's here. Oh, it looks like there's a kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, there it goes. That's the one that comes behind our house and calls and calls and calls. Yesterday, the, uh, our cat Molly was out on the neighbor's roof and I heard, I didn't know she was up there. Buddy cop. And she, uh, I heard this terrible noise and she tried to crawl. I'll show you. Uh, I guess I can't because I got to unlock the door, but she tried to crawl back in between. Yeah, here, I was out here working in the yard and I <clears throat> heard this commotion up above here hi hon I'll, I'll be right there I heard this commotion up here in the trees and I looked and she jumped from the roof down to a, a dead branch that was here and the branch snapped off and then she she fell and hit the barbed wire and came ricocheting off the barbed wire from the top strap up there and behind this wall it's about a 10 foot deep chasm in between the wall and the neighbors let me see if I can show you. It's a no man's land down here. You don't want to go there if you're a cat because you can't get out. Our nunchuck got stuck back there once and I had to lower a basket down on a rope and she was smart enough to climb inside the basket and I was able to, to yard, you know, yard haul her up over the wall. But if we hadn't been here, there's big lizards and snakes and shit down there that will... They'll eat the cats. So anyway, we survived our trip home. Uh, we'll talk with you guys later.